Hey, John Kavakis here with another edition of My Take. And today I've got news we've all been waiting for. It's news from Brooklyn. Now, we all know that earlier this year, the factory began to make a move. They moved from Bath to Poulton. That's about 10 miles away, somewhere around 16 uh, kilometers or so. Uh, and, it, you know, the move was intricate. It was complicated. They had to shut down for a while. They did a little bit of work ahead of time so they could keep some stuff in the supply line. But general production was set, shut down. And we're all impatient to see what they're doing. But we got to realize how much work they put into this and how much effort they got into getting back up and running. Here's what the place looked like on September 23rd before they moved in. It was bare bones. Uh, then on October 7th, we saw a lot of stuff starting to come in. It was pretty messy. On October 14th, um, it looked even maybe a little bit worse. There was just stuff all over the place. But by October 21st, they were beginning to get organized. And on October 28th, uh, they're nearly ready for production. Now, th this is the good news, is the, the factory is scheduled to open back up within the next week or two weeks or so and begin production. That's going to take a while. Uh, right now, they're waiting on a compressor to come. Um, it's a state-of-the-art, brand-new compressor, a high-quality unit, uh, and production is going to begin very soon. Now, we all are excited about that, but I know we all have some questions on what's coming. Well, here's the good news. The models we've all been waiting on are going to be the models that will be first produced. They're going to make the Packard Caribbean. Now, that model was promised to another club. Uh, that, the, that other club has decided to source their model from another maker. Uh, somebody who does very nice resin models. But you're going to have it available from Brooklyn in white metal. And here's the great thing about it. Uh, we are compiling a list of those people who canceled their orders on the previous model with the other club and we're going to give them priority treatment. Brooklyn is going to give them a priority access to the Packard Caribbean because they know you've been waiting for a long time. That's what I love about Brooklyn. They're concerned about uh, their clients are concerned about the members of the club and the the Packard is going to be beautiful. Darren is excited about it. Uh, I've seen some preliminary pictures, uh, you know, the, the master isn't completely done yet, but it looks really good. He's really, uh, th this guy is a talented guy and he stretched himself some on this. It's going to be a beautiful model. It's going to be just like the original one that we talked about a year or so ago. Packard Ivory over Bikini Blue. Uh, and it's going to have a lot of detail to it. It's going to be a beautiful model. You're going to love it. And if you didn't order one, you're going to have an opportunity to get one as well. Uh, the next things that we're going to see will be the BCC Club Special, the 56 Buick Patrol Car. We're all excited about that one. It's in line as well with the first three and the one right after that. Uh, and I'm not sure of the order of these, but they're all going to be in a mix. They're all well along their way to being developed. But we're also waiting on Elmo's 1968 Mustang Cobra Jet 428 in lime gold. That's going to be another spectacular model. So along with that, there's going to be some new NB Center releases. Now some of these are familiar, uh, but they're going to have the full NB Center treatment. So we're going to see the 1937 Studebaker Dictator Coupe. A beautiful car, beautiful model before the NB Center treatment. After the NB Center, Center treatment, it's going to be spectacular. It's got that Art Deco rear window to it. Uh, it's, got, it's a stupendous model. Okay, The other, next one we'll see will be the 42, uh, 1942 DeSoto Deluxe Sedan. Now this is a good model when it was released uh, in the Brooklyn line. Uh, it'll be over the top of the NB Center treatment. Now, two brand new models that are coming as well are the 1932 Cadillac V16 limousine that's in the NB Center collection. That's the model that had the V16 uh, that Brooklyn just released as white metal in 1 8 scale. You're going to get a chance to buy the car as well. Beautiful car. It's a survivor and it is magnificent. And the next one will be the 1932 Cadillac 355B that's in the Vatican collection. Now, this car is very similar to the one that was in the movie um, 
that we weren't, we're all familiar of, and we've got to be careful with copyrights here. Uh, but it, it is a beautiful car in burgundy over black, and uh, it's going to be another magnificent model of the NB Center Collection. Now, the thing we need to remember about the NB Center Collection, and we're not always thinking about this, but they are incredibly accurate, incredibly detailed models of cars that are in the NB Center Collection. Uh, so every now and then I'll hear somebody say, oh, that trim is wrong or, you know, it didn't have these stripes or something like that. Uh, but you got to remember, these are models of actual 1-1 cars that reside in the NB Center collection. So some of the details may be different from factory. Uh, maybe the white walls, black walls, you know, we have those discussions all over the place. But if you're looking for accuracy, you're going to find it in these NB Center collection cars. And the great thing about it is you can go to the NB Center and put your hands on the car that was modeled after. And that's what we got a chance to do in November of 2020. So uh, all these are coming very soon. Uh, there's several more that I really can't tell you about yet. I'm eager to be able to share that news with you. Uh, but let me, let me let you in on something that I think is going to be really important to you. Prices are a little bit higher. Uh, that, that's to be expected. We've got incredible models, the most detailed models that I've ever seen. Uh, but you can save money by being a member of the Brooklyn Collectors Club, the BCC. Uh, so, when you're a member of the BCC, you will be entitled to 10% off on the initial release date of all new models. So, that's for a limited time, uh, but the club will have exclusive access to the new issues, not just exclusive access, but a 10% discount as well. You'll have a code you'll be able to order directly from Brooklyn. You don't have to worry about it going through several hands. Uh, and so that is going to more than mitigate the price increase. As a matter of fact, that's going to do more than mitigate the cost of being in the club. Now, you don't even have to worry about that if you move quickly, because if you move quickly, you can be in the club as a member for free until the end of this year. Now, it's not real long. It's two months. But you'll have access to some of these new models as they come out. You'll get a club magazine. You'll get a, an exclusive club membership card with a number. And you'll be part of the community that has been growing so quickly over the last couple months. So you have first opportunity to choose from new vehicles new models, you'll have the discount, and you'll get it for free for the next couple months or so. Now, um, all you have to do to become a member of the club is email John Bowyer at this email address right here. I'll put it in the description of the video as well. Okay, so there's a lot happening. The factory is getting ready to get up and run. Now, we're not going to have a production, a regular production schedule, uh, probably until early next year. But I've had some discussions with Simon. He's really excited about all the new models that have come. You know, we've seen the last several releases have been brand new castings. The next several releases are going to be brand new castings. Yes, there are some redos in there, but they're going to be worth it because they're going to be absolutely beautiful. This is my take on Brooklyn's latest news. I'm glad you tuned in. Do me a favor, would you? Uh, before you leave, if you like the video, would you just hit the thumbs up button down there? Love to hear your comments. I'd love to have dialogue with people online. And I'd love to have you as a subscriber. Thanks for tuning in. And I'll be... You're probably wondering about this model here. Yeah, this is the 1946 Pontiac. I'll be doing a video on that one real soon. Watch for it in the next day or so. Have a great time.